welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's doing great today. It's Saturday, November 2nd. My birthday is tomorrow, the 3rd. Yes, sirree. All day long. Uh, well, you know, when you get a little older, you don't really worry so much about celebrating your birthday. But we're probably going to go to, let, let me get into this. Uh, currently, it is 56 degrees. High today is 73. Chance of rain 1% and winds at 1 mile per hour. Yeah, um, I've been saving up my fetch points. Uh, you can get gift cards with your points uh, from Fetch. And uh, I looked back last year in December, we went to, uh, we, I got one from McAllister's. And that place is awesome. Um, that was one of the ones I was considering for my birthday. Um, I think I've decided on Cheddar's. Uh, Cheddar's is just really, really good. And they've got some, if they look anything like the pictures in their menu, they got some great looking uh, burgers. Uh, so uh, I may do that and uh, I might get one of those onions. I'm not for sure. I think they got like the onion rings or whatever that, you know, that they make and everything. But um, that one, but the card, the card I've got has like five or six places on it. You could like, it's Olive Garden, uh, Longhorn, Steakhouse and uh, Cheddar's. And then there's three on there. I don't. I don't know what they are. We don't have them around here. But uh, we've been to Cheddar's a, a couple times. You know, I think we used my fetch points there one time. And it's just really, really good. Uh, and when the, when the kids were little, I remember we, we used to go there. Um, but, uh, you know, things are too expensive for us to go anywhere like that anymore. So, like I said, I've been saving these up, these points up. And... For, for a good you know time to use them so this is a, a good time and everybody will have something really good to eat for my birthday okay uh all right uh there's a kitty's corner today she said that it's been about a month since uh she was able to do her uh, kitty's corner so i said okay that's what we'll do and uh she's got some hilarious jokes for y'all really funny jokes isn't that right well she, she was just here a second ago where'd she go well she was laying right here a minute ago uh so that that'll be good check that out today what's for dinner i think we're gonna have um what are those things called kikaman noodle sauce noodle kit with sauce that was in the grocery outlet uh hall and their black pepper and the guy said that the guy that uh, we saw there that works there, he said he'd had them and they're not really hot. You know, they taste like pepper, I guess, but it's not. He said it wasn't. We'll see. And I think we're just going to have that and um, uh, chicken pot stickers, I think, with it would be good. Uh, we love Chinese food. We we sometimes we don't eat it very often, but but I uh, like making it and. Uh, we had that the other day. I have a, a short of it, but I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, that, um, what was it? The General Tao's chicken. It was it was good. It wasn't really hot. Uh, I was afraid the sauce would be really hot. But it was good. We had it over rice. And I had some chicken egg rolls. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to have. Alright, I've got a taste test today. And I don't think I've done these. If it if I have done these before, it was a long time ago because I really don't remember it. But I have tried several of these uh, Millville from Aldi uh, fruit and grain bars before. I think I had a cherry one, and uh, we had a, a, one of the other ones, uh, mixed berry, I think. But I'm not sure about the raspberry, so. I thought I would try one today. I know they, they're smaller than they used to be. The box itself is even smaller. So, where do, you, where do they want this to open? Oh, they want you to tear it off at the front here. No, I'll do this way. This is the best way for me. They got this thing where you can tear the front off of it, part of the front down here. I guess to, and where you could lay it down or something and you could get it 
I don't like doing it that way. Okay, let's see. Uh, the nutrition facts. 140 calories. Uh, it, there's eight of them in here, by the way, and no artificial color, uh, flavors or high fructose corn syrup and no certified synthetic colors. They're made, actually, in, Nether in the Netherlands. That's interesting. 140 calories, 5% total fat, 4% saturated, no trans fat or cholesterol, 3% sodium, 9% carbs, 4% fiber. Uh, it's got 22% of sugars, uh, vitamin uh, or iron, 6%. Thiamine, 8%, niacin, 4%, folate, 4%, calcium and potassium and vitamin B6, 2%, riboflavin, 4%, and magnesium, 8%. So it's got some vitamins and stuff in it. Uh, the only thing I can see, you know, is the sugar here. 22% uh, of sugars. You know, if you're not, if you don't have to worry about your sugars and stuff, that's really not that bad of a number if you don't eat a whole lot of sweets uh, per day, you know, so, um, you know, I, I probably wouldn't eat one of these every day myself. I'm trying to keep my sugar down as far as I can uh, because I'm going to be having a test in, uh, in November when I go to the doctor. Okay, uh, I've been uh, borderline diabetic for a long time. Hopefully I'm, I'm okay. Okay, let's see if it says anything else here. Well, so here's what one looks like. They used to be about like that. <laughs> but, just like everything else. Okay, it's real fresh. We got this at that new Aldi I did the walkthrough on. Mm. Can't really tell it. It's... It's in there. It's just not. It's the same color as the uh, outside kind of. Let's see. Now you can see it better. It really tastes like raspberries. So it is a coffee. Oh yeah. It's great with a cup of coffee. Oh man, I like these. Hmm. Well, they're really, really good, and that is really fresh. Mm. Well, um, the only thing I can see about the nutrition facts is I'd like to have seen the sugar a little lower than that. So I'm going to give that a four and a half out of five and a five out of five for uh, taste. Really, really good. I think y'all will like those, especially with a cup of coffee. And they were not, you know, not super a lot of calories, 140, you know. Okay, we did that. Uh, got our jokes here. Uh, hey, Dad, can you pass the salt? I don't know, son. Can you pass the semester? Huh? Can you? Uh, barber cutting a customer's hair. Hmm, I see a few gray hairs. Customer, at the rate you're going, I'm not surprised. Come on, get it on. Get it over with. Okay, thought of the day is from Edgar Bergen. Is he the one that did the, didn't he have like a, a mannequin? I mean, not a mannequin, uh, what are they called, ventriloquist, wasn't he? Uh, isn't that, uh, what's her name's father? Oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. Candace Bergen, is it Candace Bergen? Okay, anyway, so it's Edgar Bergen's thought of the day. Hard work never killed anybody, but why take a chance? <laughs> well, that's all I ever did was hard work. I mean, I don't think I ever had a, a you know, a job where I just 
sat around or something. I mean, uh, now when I when I worked for uh, the college here, the university, and uh, for the College of Medicine, you know, I, I set up their uh, warehouse and everything, and set up their their uh, inventory system and stuff. And uh, I was over the warehouse, and uh, that's the only job I've ever had that I could sit down. Some. The only other ones I'd be sitting down is, is if I was driving. <laughs> That's the only time I'd be sitting down. But, yeah. Um, okay. So, I saw, um, where did I see this one here? I thought this might be interesting. I don't know. It says, nothing to fear but fear itself. Play a quiz about phobias. Take quiz. Let's see what we got here. Um, chromophobia is a fear of what? Churches, camels, cats, color. <clears throat> wow, man. It, it, that would be bad to be afraid of any of those things. I mean, uh, I'm going to say color um, because, like, I don't know if it's the same or not, but I'm thinking like Kodachrome or something like that. Makes me think of color. That's right. Chromophobia, also known as chromatophobia or chromatophobia, is a persistent irrational fear of or aversion to colors and is usually a conditioned response. Wow. Man, that would be awful, wouldn't it? It'd be everywhere you look, there's colors. Which uh, of these is known to cause one of the most common fears? Long words, enclosed spaces, books, vegetables. Most common fears, which is known. Well, I, um, out of these, I would say enclosed spaces. Because I don't like, um, especially if it's uh, like a room with no windows, I, I, I can't stand that. I, I wouldn't do very good, honestly. I, I, or if it's small, real small, I get like claustrophobic. Um, I mean, almost to the point to where you don't even like a blanket over your head or, so, or anything, you know. <clears throat> but... That's what I think it is, enclosed spaces. Uh, that's right. Uh, claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder that causes an intense fear of enclosed spaces. If someone gets very nervous or upset when they're in a tight place, like an elevator or crowded room, they might have claustrophobia. Yes. Um, wow. Others notice a problem only when they're in certain cramped spaces, like the inside of an MRI machine. Yep. The anxiety can range from mild to nervousness to full-blown panic attack. Yes, I understand for sure. I, I don't like the CAT scans or whatever it is in that too. I uh, had them all. Uh, zoophobia is a fear of what? I mean, almost to the point of where I would be like, y'all, you're going to need to do something to, to calm me down uh, if you, before you do this. And, you know, they will if, they, if you say, I can't. I can't, st I can't stay still once I get in there or something, you know. Uh, I've had to do that before. If I'm already, you know, I'm in really bad shape when I'm having something like that done, I'm more thinking about what, the way I feel, I guess, and, and I, I, can, I can do better. But that sounds weird, but okay, like my mind is not on it. It's on pain or something. Uh, okay, zoophobia. Circuses, zoos. Clowns, animals, come on, this was, uh, this one's too easy, y'all. No, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick by it then. Circuses, zoos, clowns, animals. What do you think? Well, I just did the obvious and said zoos because of zoo phobia. I mean, yeah, if you were... Uh, if you were scared of, you know, animals, 
then you would be scared of a zoo too, I would imagine, you know. Uh, but it's animals, so I missed that one. Zoophobia is a fear of animals. Some people with zoophobia fear all animals, while others are afraid of one specific animal. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Phobophobia is a year of is is the fear of what? Phobophobia, fear of ducks, fear of being sad, fear of snakes, fear of being afraid. And that that would be terrible. Also, fear of being afraid. Not even phobophobia. Ah. Uh, I, I'm going to say fear of being afraid. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> Phobophobia is an extreme fear of being afraid. While this condition may sound redundant, it's a very real and complex disorder that can take a few forms. A person with phobophobia may be scared of the physical sensations that come with fear, such as shortness of breath, sweaty palms, and heart palpitations. They might feel that these symptoms threaten their life or have a potential to cause permanent damage. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, for 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 many years, uh, poor old Joy, she was uh, uh, afraid of storms. You know that the power would go out and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people are are, especially if you've had something happen before. You know where your power was out for a long time or this or that. You know, I think that makes you more afraid whenever there's a storm. But she's much better about it now. She's doing better. Um, okay, so next one. What is a spider phobia called? You know, I, I don't know if everybody, they might not know this one, or they might. I think a lot of you would. Uh, a spider phobia called, what is it called? Equinophobia, claustrophobia, bibliophobia, arachnophobia um, yeah well uh, I think a lot of y'all might know it's arachnophobia yes uh, many fears seem reasonable we all try to avoid things that make us feel uncomfortable the difference between a fear and a phobia is that a phobia is an intense or irrational fear towards one or more things or situations so and arachnophobia is a fear of spiders I don't like them either, and I don't like snakes either. But I don't. Uh, if I was to, you know, when I see one or something, I don't. I don't freak out. Um, a snake. There's just not many snakes in this area. I don't know. Uh, we've been here like 40 years, and I don't think I've ever seen a snake here. I really don't. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure they're somewhere, uh, but. Never saw one here. Okay, so. Okay, so this one is what is Bibli. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe this is a tricky one. But you never know. This might you might think this is easy. It might be a tricky one. What is bibliophobia? Fear of the Bible, fear of bees, fear of flying. Fear of books. I, I would hate. Uh, I mean, I can't imagine being afraid of the Bible. You know. Uh, I mean, I guess it could happen. Uh, bees, I could see. Been stung by a lot of bees. So is Joy. She ran right over one of those that that are in the ground. They like burrow down and make a place. She ran wide over one of those with the ride mower. I think she got stung at least nine times. That was a couple years ago, I think. Um, you got to watch for them. They're like yellow jackets. They look kind of look like yellow jackets. I'm not sure if that's what they are. Okay, I'm going to go with... Do uh, you think the obvious would be fear of the Bible? Uh, for some reason, I think it might be fear of books. I, I might be wrong now. Okay, that's right. See, that was another tricky one. I, I almost passed that one up because I thought, 
Well, sure, it's, it's fear of the Bible for bibliophobia. So that's a little tricky there. It is fear of books. A bibliophobia is an intense, intense fear of books. The condition is a specific phobia, which is a type of anxiety disorder. A person with bibliophobia might fear all books or only a specific kind, such as textbooks or children's books. Man, that would be rough. I got six right and one wrong. We got three more. Uh, who said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? Franklin D. Roosevelt, Ronald Reagan, Theodore Roosevelt, Gerald Ford. I think it was Frankie D. Right. Assuming the presidency at the depth of the Great Depression, Franklin D. Roosevelt helped the American people regain faith in themselves. He brought hope as he promised prompt, vigorous action and asserted in his inaugural address. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That is my best uh, FDR impersonation. Okay, what, uh, which of these is among the most common phobias? Acrophobia? Globophobia? Isotrope? Phobia, isotrope. I'm not sure if that's what I think that's what it says. Omphalophobia. <laughs> I don't even know what these are really. Um, most common acro. I'm going with acro. That's right. <laughs> Phobias are a type of anxiety disorder. Carry character. <laughs> trying to speak too fast. Characterized by significant, irrational, and extreme fear of specific situations or things. <laughs> Not funny, I mean. It'd be awful if, if you have any of these, really. Uh, what are you afraid of if you suffer from thalassophobia? Thalassophobia. Man, these eyes kind of look right through you, don't they? Uh, oop. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, thunder, death, I felt kitty, there you are, thunder, death, and number 13, the sea, um, I don't know, I don't, I've never heard of that name before, but I want to say the number 13, no, it's the sea, the sea. Okay, everybody, I got eight right and two wrong today. I, I like these. Um, some of them were, you know, trying to trick you, you know. You can't always go with the obvious sometimes. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great morning and a great day. And definitely check out Kitty's Corner later on for jokes of the day. Bye, everyone, and God bless.